Good evening, everybody. This is me down here. My name is April Demito, and I'm going to be your instructor for the next few weeks as you begin 662 Advanced Physical Assessment. And I'm going to start by doing an overview of the coursework. So this is what my page looks like when I look at it, but that's because I'm teaching a bunch of other classes. I'm teaching two sections of 662, 138 and 139. Every week, it might be on a Sunday or a Monday, I will post a video update to go over what the expectations are for the upcoming week. So I thought today, since our week begins tomorrow, I thought it would be a good idea to go over uh, some of the coursework and the expectations for the coursework in general. Now, it doesn't matter which course I click into because the announcement's going to be the same. So I just make one announcement for both sections because there really isn't any difference. So I'm going to open up this one so that we can see what the course looks like. Now you can see over here on the right hand side are the calendar views. So you have uh, assignments due because I've made it, I have filled out the calendar for you so you know when your assignments are due. Your very first assignment is a discussion post that's due no later than Wednesday. I didn't fill out my bio yet. I'm going to have to do that. All right. Now, when I open up the resources menu, it, it gives a, a, a whole list of things um, that may be beneficial for you. You'll see a box here that says questions for the instructor. I have to tell you, I would much rather have you do an email or a text. Email is really best. Uh, I work uh, as a nurse practitioner. I'm in the clinic a lot, and I always have my phone. I have everything connected with my smartphone. So if you email me, you're going to get a much quicker response to me than if you use this questions for the instructor. So you can, but uh, I don't see this link on my phone, so the response is going to be a little bit delayed. Uh, prayer requests, if you have anything going on um, where you would like us to submit a prayer request for you, you can click on this. You can schedule um, time in virtual learning centers. And this is going to show you um, video assignment submission instructions. And I really want you to look at this and make sure that you are following the standards and the guidelines for the videos that you're going to be doing. So make sure that you feel comfortable with that. APA format resources. And let's look at module one, our overview here. taken a little time to load this evening. And our modules always begin with a devotion. And if you click on this link, it'll take you to the Reflecting God website where you can find some very inspirational um, scriptures for you. Now, the overview for part one talks about the physical exam. And in primary care, the first thing it's going to begin with is that conversation, that face-to-face you can learn more often just by sitting down and having a conversation with your patient than by doing the, the physical exam to begin with. So this initial interview, it's used to establish and later continue to build that therapeutic relationship with your patient, gather information about the patient's background, any risks, health needs the patient has, and uh, it's conducted with considerations toward the client's developmental, educational, cultural, and health status. Uh, different interviewing techniques are needed in different client situations. So with children, you're going to interact with them different, differently. Uh, and um, you may need to build that rapport with your patient before you can actually interact with them uh, in a more relaxed state. You want to always 
have that level of professionalism when you're interacting with your patients. Um, gathering a complete and accurate family medical history is so important. Um, genetics play a big role in a lot of health issues. And um, many people don't know about the history, their health history. I always feel... Um, I, I don't want to say I feel sorry for, but I imagine that uh, those who don't know anything about their background uh, have that loss. It's not a loss, per se, but they, they don't have that connection with uh, knowing if they have heart disease or if there's um, history of mental illness or if breast cancer runs in the family. So th that's a real disconnect there. Uh, about half of all Americans are going to experience some kind of mental health issue in their lifetime. About one in five American adults are going to experience a condition in any given year. Uh, but about 41% of those people are going to receive services. 10% of the American adult population will experience a mood disorder, such as depression or bipolar disorder. And 18% have an anxiety disorder, including post-traumatic stress disorder. Mental health conditions like depression or anxiety, they're real and common and treatable in many cases. Our patients don't have to be um, in, encumbered by this overwhelming sadness or this overwhelming anxiety that prevents them from living life to the fullest. These are very treatable conditions, and we can learn a lot from sitting and listening to our patients. So the objectives for this first module to identify effective and ethical approaches to interviewing and history taking, describe the components of a primary care health history, demonstrate a comprehensive primary care physical examination on a primary care client, document health history, health risk assessment, and physical examinations for a primary care client, and formulate a problem list. Your readings. You're going to find that this Bates book is really helpful. It's a good book. I used this book, of course, an older version of it, when I went to school to get become a nurse practitioner. And other resources here. You also have an example documentation of a, an H&P and some chapters for you to read, a YouTube video, and your assignments. Your first assignment is going to be that class introduction forum. That needs to be done by day three. Then you have a genetics assessment. I'm clicking on this. Okay. This one. Okay. Now let me move my little box here. The next assignment is a health history. Follow your rubric. And... I'll tell you what, when you're doing a health history, I'm going to really nitpick this because it's so incredibly important to ensure that you have all of the pieces required when you are doing your health history. Uh, when you're doing one, until you become really comfortable with it, it's always better to have more than less. I don't want you leaving things out. All right. And then the next one is our graded discussion. So follow the steps with this one. Next step, certified profile letter. And this is to ensure that you have everything done that you have to get done for the course. Let's go back to our modules. All right. And here. Uh, uh, uh. You don't have a video due this week. That's good. But here, in week two, you do a physical exam, demo, and document, chest, heart, and lungs. So that's what you're going to be doing. That's what your physical assessment is going to be focused on. Now, when you do these videos, you have parameters that you need to abide by. And the criteria says optimally, these videos should not be longer than five minutes long. 
but we will give you up to 10 minutes. I have to say, I want you to do everything in your power to keep these videos at five minutes. I would encourage you to script out what you're going to do and say before you actually do it. Um, the first couple times you do this, you're going to feel awkward and it, it's you're going to feel uncomfortable, but then you'll get the hang of it. Uh, I remember when I first started doing these videos in class, I, I felt awkward also, but um, you, you'll get the swing of it and you'll, you'll start to do these well. Uh, the thing is, I don't want you to make them any longer than 10 minutes. As a matter of fact, if it is 10 minutes and one second, you'll get points deducted for it. You really need to learn how to do these things in a finite amount of time. So the goal is five minutes, okay? And every week you're going to have a different required assessment. And after six weeks, you're going to be done. So bam, bam, this is a quick course, six weeks. We do have a break over uh, Thanksgiving week. There's no course, so I think that's a good thing. A lot of the other schools don't do that, so I think that's pretty good. So you can focus on family uh, during that week. I'm going to click on the calendar here so you can see what this looks like. All right, now my view is pretty complicated because I'm teaching a lot of coursework. You'll only see your courses. So you can see here that I put class one, this is your first week of class, and I'm teaching two sections of it. One is uh, blue and one is kind of a green gray color. And you have your discussion here. First discussion post due. Friday, your certified profile letter is due. Your genetics assessment is then due over here. So make sure that you're getting everything done on time. Uh, I'm not a real big fan of giving extensions for things. This is um, a lot of work in a short period of time. So the way you have to approach it is to stay one step ahead. So class starts tomorrow. I would have my discussion, my intro for introduction forum done already. So you have to stay one step ahead. I know that most of you are juggling family and work and school, and I am too. I'm in my doctorate program. So you have to really work to stay one step ahead uh, to be on top of the game. I think that you'll find that I'm quite approachable. So I don't want you to hesitate to send me an email if you have any questions. You're not sure. You, you think that it might be this, but you're not quite sure it might be that. I'd rather have you ask me the question than end up doing something incorrectly. Okay? And this is, a, in my opinion, I think this is one of the most important courses that you can take because what you learn in the next six weeks is going to be how you, um, is the basis of all of the other coursework that you're going to do moving forward as a nurse practitioner. So I really want you to focus and read the material and put your best into this course because it's such an incredibly important piece of your education in becoming a nurse practitioner. All right, so I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. And tomorrow we start.